the pagan celebration of Stara. In this video we cover what it is and how to celebrate. Stick around to the end for our power tip of four herbs you can use to incorporate into your Astara workings. Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insight, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. The pagan celebration of Astara falls on the spring equinox. Astara was the virgin goddess of spring and dawn in ancient Germany, and it is for her this Sabbath is named. Astara was also celebrated in Greek, Roman and Nordic cultures in pre-Christian times. Some forms of Easter celebration adopted by Christianity originate with Astara. For example, Easter eggs. There's little evidence to suggest the Easter Bunny or hare was associated with the goddess Astara. However, magically speaking, eggs are symbols of rebirth, potential and the increase of sunlight in spring. Old Germanic customs included the Easter hare, visiting homes, bringing gifts of eggs, candy and toys to good children the night before celebrations, rather like Santa Claus. How do you celebrate Astara? You can dye or paint eggs to decorate your home or altar. You can include colour and symbology on these. If you have children, set up an Easter egg hunt with them. You can also leave some painted eggs with positive messages and blessings on them in the woods for people to find. You can perform a ritual to celebrate the beginning of spring. Include painted eggs and spring flowers on your altar and an offering of bread, mead or honey. You can also plant seeds, it's a great time for that, and do some spring cleaning of course. Any ritual that relates to new beginnings and new starts is ideal at this time of year. Coming up is our power tip of four herbs you can use in your workings during Astara. If you enjoy our videos, be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Power tip. Try including some of these herbs in your workings at this time. First one would be cat claw. It's fantastic for breaking ties from the past and paving ways to new beginnings. Mint, a very common herb, is a great one. It relates to the underworld. At this time, energies and deities are returning from their winter, winter resting place at the beginning of spring. A nice one is white willow bark. It's great for regeneration and fertility. It's also a good one for relieving those aches and pains from those cold winter months. White cornflower. Fantastic for cleansing, new beginnings, and connecting to higher energies, bringing some really good extra power to your workings. Guys, comment below and tell us how you celebrate Astara. We'd love to hear from you. Join our Raven Mystic community on social media, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Mind how you go.